In this presentation, we will discuss how we would build an adder, a circuit for summing together two bits. Suppose we wanted to create a circuit that would add two bits together. How would we do it? Well, first, we would need to know the rules for adding two bits. The table here on screen describes those rules. As you can see, adding two bits together it's not quite the same as adding two digits together. When you add two bits together, you get a one for the sum if one of the bits is one, but not both. A sum in this scenario represents an exclusive OR function. But also with a sum, as with normal arithmetic, sometimes you have carries. The carry is really the result of anding the two bits together. So here, adding two bits is really a function of two different gates, exclusive OR and AND, and produces equivalently two outputs. A circuit which would implement that logic is shown here. This is what we call a half adder. An exclusive OR gate and an AND gate, and two outputs, the sum and the carry. Now a full adder goes a step farther. To properly add two bits from a multi-bit number, you really need three values, the two bits in question and the carry, or what we sometimes call the carry in. This table describes the logic involved. You would necessarily have three inputs, bit one, bit two, and the carry in. And as a result, you would have two outputs a sum and a carry out. This is a more complex circuit than a half adder. This diagram here shows a circuit for a full adder and as you notice it has five gates. Two exclusive OR gates, two AND gates, and one OR gate. It has three inputs, bit one, bit two, and the carry and two outputs, sum and carry. If you think about it, a full adder is really two half adders that are used to properly construct a full one bit adder circuit, or what we call a full adder. In logic diagrams, we often abbreviate full adders with special symbols. This is done for many of the same reasons that we create functions in high-level programming languages. We do it to hide detail and allow us to focus on using it as a building block to construct more complicated circuits. This is very important in programming and in circuit design. It's a form of abstraction that allows us to concentrate on the high-level details. This image here shows an example of how a full adder is often represented in a logic diagram. 